Oyi bebe are, Jesus be yare ami bebe rem nazo. Oyi bebe are, Oyi bebe are, Jesus be yare ami bebe rem nazo. Oyi bebe are, Oyi bebe are, Jesus be yare ami bebe rem nazo. Oyi bebe are, let it happen spiritually. Yo yi bebe gare Jesus o mo na o mo na di aga na kita ha oh o yi bebe gare Jesus be gare mi bebe rem na so o yi bebe gare o yi bebe gare Jesus be gare mi bebe rem na so o yi bebe gare Oh, he been beggar. That is a prayer. On our look, on look, not all look on the spiritual. Hey, oh, he been beggar. Jesus beggar, I'm he been beggar. Nazo, oh, he been beggar. Oh, le brosho koroma kara. Oh, oh, he been beggar. Oh, he been beggar. Jesus begare a mi bebe Zephaniah 314 says Daughter of Zion is time for you to shout with joy and the verse 16 we use now to do prayer in singing ministration says that the judgment against you has been overturned and then we hear it the prayers of the prisoner that God hears it and there is only one king you are turning to. Do you know what I love most in the Catholic Church? As you enter, you are being accosted with the imposed structure of the Christ on the crucifix. You see that thing Bible says. Obunka febi pesera iberalo se. Ecclesiastes chapter one verse one. Vanity upon vanity. This is a huge intimidate. If our church is finished now, you will see big one. I don't know how many of you that followed me where I have program on 27th day of October. That's uh, the place they call, they call uh, 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 Sonia in Egypt. You see that they are crossed now, very imposing one. And you will see the stain of the blood, the mark of the blood on the cross. Yes, we still have a cross here. But understand what I'm saying. And somebody is saying that the crucifix, you should remove the Jesus and put the wood. Without the Jesus, the wood will be ordinary thing. And that is where we see, you can see it. And it says, the prayers of a prisoner that has been heard by God. It's not necessary that we be, you will be in the prison physically. But there are many things that have imprisoned you. Miscarriage might have imprisoned you. Infertility might have in, imprisoned you. That the uh, setback and even poverty might have imprisoned you. And whatever it be, failure, struggles in your life might be an imprisonment. But one thing I know is that, yes, as you come into the Catholic Church, you see Jesus hanging on the cross. He reminds you who he is. And the word of, the, of Pilate is always there. He, Jesus of Nazareth, king of, his, of the Jews. And somebody comes to hear it. This woman said, we tore the garment according to her. And do you know what? That very day, that those who have jailed the husband entered and they started speaking, they said, Federico, something like that. She was, she was calling a name that sounded Italian. She didn't tell us the place. She just said in Europe. So they just called the name of the husband. Like, I think I'm remembering Federico. Federico, just stand up move away, go out from this jail. That is how that man left jail of 10 years. Of 10 years, after spending two and a half years, everything came to an end. She said she tore the garment of sorrow. Somebody we know. That's why, like today, we are celebrating Christ, the universal king. You, the first and foremost, that Christ is your own king. Before he becomes king of anybody, he is your own king. And no wonder the Bible says, Psalm 97 verse 1, rejoice, the, the Lord is king. Let the earth rejoice, that the, oh, that the mountain shall melt like wax, 
and somebody comes to see the power of God. I end it here. Whatever that has imprisoned you, your God shall set you free. Amen. Your God shall release you. Amen. Bondages shall not imprison you again. Amen. May the Lord release you from bondages. May the Lord free you from poverty. May the Lord free you from hunger. May the Lord free you from sickness. The king that will come will not just free you. As he frees you, he will be able to restore you. You shall receive the fullness of restoration. And uh, there is no way the rain will fall and the ground will not bear witness. Uh, today we are celebrating Christ the king. And I prophesy upon somebody. Can I hear you so missy at three times? I continue. As you believe, you shall receive. In the name of Jesus, the Omi, who could do one or great thing, as you are king today, I declare that there will be restoration. Whatever that happens, the kingship of Christ shall happen in your life today. Therefore, today is your day of coronation. Number one, receive it, amen. Number two, receive it, amen. You have declared, you have called me your seer and your prophet. Let my prophecy manifest in your life. I want that amen to be a fire, amen. I said today, today, not tomorrow. Christ is king today. He shall be king in your life today. Amen. Therefore, I declare upon a family here, today is your day of coronation. Amen. You shall receive a crown. Amen. Your family shall receive a crown. Amen. Your marriage shall receive a crown. Amen. Today is your day of coronation. Amen. Your God shall